Hello guys, my name is Shirley. Today we are going to make this mystery lady card holder. There are four important steps to make this card holder. Measuring, threading, sewing and ending. When we grab these four steps, we can finish the card holder easily. Firstly, we are going to attach the red part into the pink part. There are two card slots. So I'm going to show how to sew the short line here. There are two short lines here. I'm going to show you one of the line. Sweat lines for sewing each of the short line will take five times of the finger distance, such as one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is the total sweat length for sewing this short line. We need two ends of the thread to be fixed with two needles. Now I'm going to show you how to thread the needle. Okay, when we locate the leather patch in the middle, we can notice that the first and last hole is, is blanket. It will be sewed individually. This is how it will be sewed individually. Draw two ends of the thread evenly, and then beneath needle go upward. Upper needle go downward from the second hole to finish the first crossing. And then move on the left hole in the same steps. Put the thread at specific angle, like the thread on my left hand, this way, so you could get a neat and nice thread line. When we finish all the holes of this short line, we'll go back to holes to end the thread. When two ends of the thread at the same side, we could cut off the thread and apply the leather glue onto the thread. If you don't have the leather glue in hand, I will show you another way to end the thread by using your lighter.
Okay. Now I'm going to show you another way of ending the thread by using the lighter. Before cutting off the thread, go back to horse. Like this way. Until two ends of the thread at the same side. And then cut off the thread. Use your lighter to melt the thread. Be avoid not too close to the leather. Okay, press a little bit. Finished. Okay, so now we have go through one short line by practice four steps. I will leave you to finish another short line. Thread length for another short line will also take five times of the finger distance. Next step, we are going to sew the outline of the lady face. Overlap these two leather patches together by sewing this hair, face, nose, mouth, and air brown lines. Firstly, we are going to sew the outline of the hair. So here is the sweat length will take 12 times of the finger distance, such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, okay. This is the total sweat length for sewing this outline. Okay, I will show few steps of the sewing stitches and leave you to finish the left horse. You can notice that the direction of the thread be better to be uniform like this way, thread in my left hand. Put the thread in the specific angle so you could have a nice and neat stitching line. Okay, when we sewed until the last hole, we could go downward directly and then have two threads at the same side on the back we will get two ties here before applying the leather glue and cutting off the thread Next step, we are going to sew two eyebrow. Sweat lens will take three times of the finger distance of each eyebrow. So I will leave you to finish this eyebrow. Okay, this two 
这里量两倍长度大线，这里量三倍长度大线就可以了。收尾的话跟这里一样，把两根线穿。After sewing two eyebrows, then move on to the noise part. Noise part will take five times of the finger distance. So also, it has the same stitching way. And the last step of the mouse part. I will show you the stitching way of the mouse part. It was sewed from the upper lip and then to the top lip, back to the middle lip. So I will show how to stitch this part. Sweat length for this part will take five times of the finger distance. Now the next step, we are going to sew all the leather patches together. Okay, we are going to sew this outline. Here is the finish effect. The sweat lens for sewing this up line will take 12 times of the finger distance. Here the first and last hole we need to make a circle to provide extra support.
Okay, when we finish all the holes, we will make the circle at the top. And then go back to holes to end the thread. Okay, now we have finished this mystery lady cut holder. Hope you enjoy this DIY process. Thank you so much for watching.